Microsoft Math is a tool that is a college and high school student's dream come true. Basically what it does is it evaluates math equations, even the most advanced ones, and shows you all the breakdown steps on how to do them and the solution for free. You can apparently get this on your browser, built into your browser, your Edge browser specifically, but you can also go to their website and there's a mobile application. So let's take a dive in and see how well this works and see if it's viable and also how to get it on your Edge browser in this video. Alrighty, so here we are taking a look at Microsoft Edge. And in the first portion of this video, you're gonna see that I'm gonna show you just how to get the Microsoft Math tool built into Edge, um, how to get it. So it's very easy, it's very quick. Uh, all you do is you copy this URL right here, and I'll have that in the description so you can just copy it. You type that into your URL on Edge, it doesn't matter if you're on the dev channel like I am or on the stable build or normal build or whatever. Then you just hit OK. And then you'll see there's a whole bunch of experiments because this Edge uh, flags URL takes you to all of the experimental features of Edge. And when you do that, you can see I already have it enabled, but it's very easy. You'll see on the very top, Math Solver in Microsoft Edge, which helps users solve math problems with step-by-step -step solutions supported on Mac, Windows, Linux. So then all you would do by default, it's gonna say, it's gonna be highlighted default, but all you would do is you hit enabled and that's what I did. And then that's pretty much it with this area here. Now, the next thing you all, all you have to do is you go over here to your three dots, drop down here, you see more tools, and then you'll see Math Solver. Now, when you click that, you can see it says drag and resize the box around the problem you want to solve, or you can just type in the math problem that you want to solve, and it just works just like that. So throughout this video, you're going to see me insert some clips from a different video that I made in a long time ago um, on the Android version of this application. But this is how it looks on Edge, built into Edge. So you can actually just be like, I don't know, searching for Google.com and just have Math Solver right there. You can type in maybe a quadratic formula, quadratic equation, uh, type that in maybe. Uh, and then let's say you want to do a example. So you can let's say quadratic equation example. I want to solve this long thing here, this quadratic equation. All you do is highlight it or you can just copy and paste it in. If it looks like copy and paste actually doesn't work. But all you would have to do is select math problem. So it says you can either drag it. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to say I'm going to drag this quadratic problem in there and I'm going to hit solve. And then let's see if it brings it in. 2x squared minus 4x minus 2. 2x squared minus 4x minus 2 equals 0. Yep. And so it says solve for x, which is exactly what I want to do. And then you can see it goes through the steps right there. This is step one. This is step two. And it says you can say uh, steps using quadratic formula, steps for completing the square, or steps using direct factoring method. And then you can show solution steps. So I highlighted just the quadratic formula because that's what you were looking at. You can drop down so you can have the solution steps and it does start evaluating it and explaining exactly what you do in order to solve it. So it's it's really nice, it's really cool. It's un, it's. I wish I had this when I was in college and I was in high school, but I, we didn't have that. Um, we had to pay for tools, which I had paid in the past. It was like 20 bucks in the past. Um, but this is free for Microsoft and even graphs it out and everything. It gives you some video examples and everything like that, which ironically is like these video examples down there. And yeah, it just works. It works really well. You can even share the solution. So ironically, if you want to cheat and share it to your friends, be like, hey, I just solved this problem. You can just share it to your friends wherever they are, Facebook, Twitter, or just with a link, send it to them, text it to them, and then you get it. So it's it's really straightforward. It's very easy to do. It looks good. And you can see right now the Android look of it. It looks good. iOS, it works perfectly well too. Everything, it works so well. and. One thing that I like about the Microsoft Math tool, and you can see their main website right here, um, Microsoft Math Solver, it's literally mathsolver.microsoft.com. Uh, one thing that I like here is that a lot of these problem solvers, they exist, they're made by companies that we may have never heard of, companies that may disappear in the end or may charge too much for it, but this is made by Microsoft, a company that's been around for decades. Um, 
it's not i don't believe it would go the google route of like just disappearing suddenly and it'd be killed by google.com put in there um, I think this is going to be around for a bit, and I know it's been around for a few years now. I've never had to use it just because I'm not in school anymore. But if I did go back to school, right, and you're getting that really hard problem for homework that is just holding you back from moving on to the next problems and things like that, you normally you shouldn't use this for that purpose. But like I said in the intro, this is like a college and high school student's dream, honestly, even middle school and before that. But honestly, high school and college students this is like the dream situation right here especially for college where you have like a blackboard problem and you want to solve it um this is a really solid tool i'm not i'm not kind of conveying cheating but let's be honest what this does is essentially cheating um i know it's supposed to be a tool for learning it's supposed to be a tool to help you solve a problem that you wouldn't be able to solve otherwise or you don't understand especially if you don't have an adult or someone in your household or near you that can help you with it. So you're not stuck forever on one problem. Cause I know in college, sometimes there's one problem that has part B, C, D, E, F, you know, you solve the initial problem. If you get that wrong and you use the answer from that initial problem, the rest of the problems feed off of that first one. And if that first one is wrong, they're all wrong. That can be a big issue. So in here, this could be a really solid thing for you as long as you don't get carried away with it. But yeah, this is just a, a brief and short thing. Obviously, you can see download here, Android, iOS, well, iOS, Android. You can go to practice so you can see new quiz. They have a bunch of tools. You can do five minute quizzes or five question quizzes that take a short period of time. I'm not about to do that on this video and embarrass myself, but you can solve just like that. Just type things in, whatever you want to do, 515 times, uh, I don't know, 325, and that's your solution right there. Um, if I hit solve with it, you can see that when it loads, it's arithmetic. You can see that I can hit view solution steps. And then when I do that, it breaks it down exactly what I'm supposed to do. You can see that's exactly how you're supposed to do because there's zeros all down. And then the final, the final answer is literally right there. Or if you want to factor it, it's right there. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty straightforward application. It works really well. Like I said, you can get it on your browser. You can get it built into Edge, like I showed you. You can get it on iOS and Android, and it's free overall. There's no features hidden if you don't pay because there's no paid portion of it. So let me know in the comment section below. Um, obviously, you probably hide this from your kid. Probably I'd recommend that, but let me know in the comment section below what you think about this. It's really interesting to me. Um, yeah, take care, everybody.